Hey guys, so, um, you know, really, really quick, you know, Cardi um, had to clear poverty. You know what I'm saying? Cardi had to clear poverty. So um, I noticed that Cardi was performing at some at some of an event looking great. Um, she, I, I, The first thing I thought was the stage setup. I saw the dancers, like Cardi's, her stage outfits and her gear, you can see has evolved over the years. And you can tell her management team is really like, preparing her for this second album they're really really upping her budget when it comes to like cardi always had a budget but when it comes to like fashion like when you have management new management everything changes so i could see the upgrade so everything's going fine and then all of a sudden you have somebody um that's supposed to be you have somebody that say not the grammy winner performing in someone's backyard so, of course, Cardi had to just, like, clear real quick. You know, just a little clear. So, she said, I got paid $1 million to perform at this elite bankers event, private event, for 400 people and only for 35 minutes. Think about that when you talk about this Grammy winner. Clear. So, who you know finna pay a $1 million for a private event only for 400 people for just 35 minutes and you get a $1 million for that? You are that girl. Think about it. You go to a party or whatever, maybe a bar mitzvah, a quinceanera. Basically, it's like you basically literally, it's like being invited to a quinceanera and, or a wedding, right? And the mass, the, usually 400 guests is like a big, big wedding. So imagine you go into a wedding and the performer is Cardi B and only for like 35 minutes or for one song, they're willing to pay Cardi B a million dollars to perform at the wedding. That means you are a hot commodity. That means you are, you are a heavyweight. You got a heavy championship belt. That means you are wanted, like you are the the most sought out artist, you know, and they're willing to drop them bands for you to come. In this case, M's. So for her for her to pull up to like a wedding, right? An example, a private event, only for four hundred people and perform for thirty five minutes and make a meal, go home with a meal. Baby, you can't come for Cardi in any capacity because nobody's gonna pay Nicki Minaj a million dollars. Nothing, you know for a private event. They're going to give Nikki, bitch, they're not going to even let her through the door because all them kids going to be at it's going to be at that party and they don't want no issues with the police if she decides to bring her sex offender husband. You got all these people at the party. I'm pretty sure people got their kids at the party or maybe it was an adult party. I do not know. All I know is that ain't nobody going to pay Nicki Minaj no $1 million for 400 seats in 35 minutes. It's not happening, okay? Because nobody wants to see her and to basically bring more evidence to that, the Barb's love to talk about. Oh, Cardi has never been on a world tour. Um, she she does festivals. Well, I would rather just do festivals and sell them out, and then when I'm ready for a world a world tour, maybe second album, I can combine my first album music and my second album music together, and I can go on this world tour. I would rather do that than to have to cancel my world tour the American leg because of poor, poor ticket sales. Okay. So the, the Barb's love to brag about a world tour, but home girl had to cancel. Remember that future Nicki Minaj tour that was happening. It was supposed to be happening in 2018 and future pulled out of it, which was the best thing he could have ever done to disassociate himself with that bum future pulled out. It was supposed to be a, what was the name? I don't remember, but all I remember is the Hendrix part. So, um, let me see. The rollout of Nicki Minaj's queen has faced many road bumps. Most recently, a conspiracy by Kylie Jenner to boost Travis Scott albums and snatch the number one spot away from Minaj. There's also, you know, the fact Minaj worked with convicted child predator, a doxed fan, doxed a fan and won't quit and won't quit with the homophobic lyrics. So but I remember when, you know, uh, Nicki Minaj was attacking Stormy, the baby, Talking about Kylie is basically, you know, boosting up Travis album sales. Ain't that what you're supposed to do as a woman? If, you, if you're a wife or a girlfriend, aren't you supposed to support your partner? When she don't get number one, she just throws a fit. Like, she's a sore-ass loser. But, oh, well. She's losing then, was losing then, losing now terribly. Anywho, let's get to these tours. Okay, so um, despite her legion of loyal barbs, the sales for Minaj's upcoming North American tour were 
were dismal enough that the rapper has canceled it. A Live Nation source told Page Six that Nicki's tour could be the most disappointing ticket sales of the year for any artist. Once again, a Live Nation source told Page Six that Nicki's tour could be the most disappointing ticket sales of the year for any artist. These are big arenas with up to 20,000 capacities. What was Nicki selling? Hmm. Sales for opening night in Baltimore, 2,000 tickets. LA is 3,400. New Orleans, 1,000. Denver, 1,300. Chicago, 3,900. Okay. And, um, they said it's something about Brooklyn, only 5,050. Um, and then clarified that she's from Queens. So, um, pretty much like, it's like the barbs at this point. It's like, there's no argument that you could put against Cardi. Get over it. Cardi's more successful. Cardi's younger. They are paying Cardi way more. The deals that Cardi get, Nikki will never see those numbers. If she gets a deal for Call of Duty or any deal from any endorsement, Cardi's getting top dollar. Nikki's getting the bottom dollar. She's getting the negative. Cardi's going to be positive in her account. That girl went to an event for 400 people, like a private party, and got paid a million dollars. That says a lot. That means that she's she's pretty much ruling the rap world right now when it comes to female rap, rap period. Like who the hell going outside for, for, for 400 people for 35 minutes and make a meal, walk home with a million dollars, okay? And they talking about backyard. Meanwhile, hoes is on world tours and they got to cancel the tour. And then she tried to flip it. Oh, let's go to Europe first because the U.S. wasn't fucking with you, and because you basically didn't have anybody sell, you didn't have anybody sales. People were not buying your tickets, so she had to cancel. And of course, you know she's a liar. So whatever she said was whatever she said. But the reason, but her tour got canceled. So the Barb's love to brag. She ain't never been on a world tour. Nikki had to cancel her tour. <laughs> so there's that. But anywho, um, Cardi definitely, she definitely cleared as she should. And they always be like, oh, um, why is she always responding? Well, because she can. And also when y'all come for her, she clear y'all, y'all get mad. When Cardi, when you come for Cardi and Cardi sends you back, you know, with no shirt, no panties or pants on, when she clears y'all, gets y'all together, gathers you, ball you up, throw you away, y'all get mad. And y'all say, well, she got to respond to everything. Yeah, you feel stupid, huh? Yeah. Anywho. So, yeah. Um, oh, I got to try Cardi B hair mask. I do. Oh, and let's just talk about, like, you know, the face card. Yeah. You know, she just looks too good. Like, it's the fact that he's matching with his wife's hair for me. I love the matching. It's it's giving. It's beautiful. <laughs> what? She said Hubbington. She got him under Hubbington. He put, let me just get the finger licking wings with the sauce. Wait. Oh, it, it sound like, it sound like um, Hubbington. That's him. So basically, it looked like. Yeah, it looked like basically she's telling him what to order for her. So she said, let me get the finger licking wings with the sauce. He said, I'm horny. You bad as fuck. I love when you show it off. Thanks, daddy. <laughs> I cannot wait to have this type of conversations with my husband. I promise to God I'm going to have a ball. When I get married, I'm going to have, I'm going to be the most fun wife. I'm going to be like Cardi. I'm a fun ass person. Like that is so funny to me. This is cute. But anywho, and the fact that she saved him under Hubbington, she, that's really cute. But yep. And Cardi and Offset, he admires his wife. Everybody know Offset is obsessed with Cardi's body, obsessed with Cardi's face. Like he just loves his wife. He wanted Cardi from like forever, and he got her. And like, yeah, he just everybody know that Offset just loves him some Cardi. He always rubbing on her body. Offset could never not rub on her body. He's always rubbing on her body. But anywho, um, that's it. I just wanted to say that. Like, it just shows you, like, you know, Cardi's that girl. Y'all girl not finna ever get a million dollars to sit and perform at a 400, you know, people of um, private event. That's equivalent, like I said, to a wedding, a bar mitzvah, a, a quinceanera. And they paying you a million dollars to come perform and then you leave after 30, less than an hour. Your, your fave could never. Your fave could never. Adios.